An intensely physical battle unfolding here in the Blue League of the AEW Continental Classic. And Taz, during the break, we saw Brody King. Watch. Oh, listen, either way, there's another angle of it here. Just a, oh, look at his head, Andrade's head. Get whiplash on that cross body yeah. into the guardrail. Andrade, very lucky that protective padding was there at the top of the rail, or that could have been lights out for him. You know, when your head snaps back like that, true, if there's not some sort of a rubber protection on top of the guardrails throughout this ringside area. Oh, what a chop, though. Nice job. Look at Andrade's bringing it. Now remember this Continental Classic format, it is a round robin tournament. Each competitor will have five matches. The goal is to gain as many points as possible. You will wrestle everybody in your block. The two overall points leaders will advance to the semifinal round matchup Dynamite December 27th. One minute time limit. Of course, in each match, in a time limit draw, we'll get you a point. That's oh, the drop kick to the knee. Brody goes face first. Uh, the big man was a little bit overzealous, Shivani, and he paid for it. That was a great move by Andrade. I'm telling you, Andrade is a complete pro wrestler. There is no doubt in my mind. Smart guy. You know, smart guy right there. He drop kicked the leg as the very aggressive Brody came charging, and boom, face first when Brody's facing with that second buck. Uh, Andrade attempting a body slam, but Brody King is too big. As the boot blocked, and now there you go. Screw. Nice, that dragon screw was great, x Cal. Look at that. And Brody back up to his feet, but Andrade with a single leg dragon screw again. And notice how he really uppercuts the back Strong. of the knee, Taz. The crook of the knee, and that's how you could really just tear that knee up and take that big redwood down. Well, he took him down there. Yeah, flying elbow strike there by Andrade. But due to all that punishment by Brody King, Andrade slow to capitalize, but he springs up to his feet. Very tough to do something like that this late in the matchup. He's all jacked up, fired up. Flexing out here like he's Dorian Yates. Andrade, <laughs> likes those running double knees in the corner. He's feeding off the energy of this crowd, but Brody oh King up to his feet. He Wild swing by Brody. Rose out of the dead, that, look, he got him up. Oh, wow, big body slam by Andrade. Man, that was not easy, but it was impressive. What power by Andrade. Andrade Alidolo. He can fly for a man of his size. He uses that moonsault press. He's going to do it right here. Oh! Split like a moonsault. The two and Brody King kicks out. That split, split legged moonsault. Let's take another look at it here. It's a quick snapping like motion. I've Unfortunately, been on the other end of a few of these by a gentleman by the name of Rob Van Dam, where it felt like a small paw fell on you. And remember, in a, in a previous life, so to speak, Andrade El Idolo, he was a luchador and mascarado. He wore a mask. He was La Sombra. He was a junior heavyweight. He was one of the best high flyers of his generation. And he still maintains those abilities, but he pairs it so well with his power. Absolutely. Over the years, packed on more size and muscle mass, but still has that speed and athleticism. And Brody King diving out of the way. Andrade, nobody home. And Brody hits the rope and hits the lariat. Oh, my God. That's got to be it, guys. Yeah, I would think so. The cover. And no. It is not nine points for Brody King. He's able to, he, Andrade was able to shoot that right arm up. Watch this impact on this line here. You can't get much hit harder than this. You can't. You got to turn it inside out. A Stan Hansen-esque lariat from Brody King here. Great call. Absolutely it was. It was Brody. Just like Andrade Alidolo likes those double knees in the corner, Brody likes that cannonball senton. I think that's what he's going with here, Excalibur. And connects! You see how the head of Andrade was jarred back. Brody covers, he collects the arm, and Andrade! Wow. That was a good drop, job by Brody, Excalibur, collecting the arm, because that arm could have laid across the, the rope there, the bottom rope. And Taz... Andrade really had to struggle to get that right or that left shoulder up off the mat. That's all core strength and, and fortitude. That's how he kicked out. It just popped his left side of his body up to get out of that pinning predicament. For you fans wanting to come to the Nassau Coliseum, tickets available at AEWTIX.com. The finals of the Continental Classic at World's End, December 30th. Oh, 
It's just devolving into a slugfest. As Andrade comes in high with a boot. I think it grazed Brody across the jaw. Yeah, it wasn't solid contact on the boot. As Brody looking for the lariat again, but Andrade. Oh, 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 man, oh, man. Taz Andrade left his hand out there. He left his head out there, and Brody made him pay. You're not kidding me, Paige. Oh, oh, the back elbow. Remember, that's what. That back elbow fractured the orbital of Brian Danielson months ago. And it may have put Brody King out. I think he caught him right in the jaw. And being that Andrade is a little bit shorter, I think that's exactly what happened. Bam! Right there, right across the jaw, back towards the back of the jaw, near the ear. Are you surprised Andrade didn't try for a cover right there? He a little bit. Rolled, rolled past him. Let's see what he's got in mind here. Yeah, but he, he yeah, well. Oh, Brody. We don't, we don't know how hard that hit was. He right. knows how hard it was. Maybe right. that's why he was going to the top. Right. Yeah, Brody up to his feet. Smashing Andrade with those elbow strikes. As now both men still in search of their ninth point in the tournament. And Brody, man, he is just hammering Andrade, even though Andrade has the high ground. Yeah, he both does. these guys, I'm sorry, Taz, both these guys are pretty much spent right now. They are just working on adrenaline, both men. Shows how important advancing in the Classic is in this Blue League match. As Andrade, Brody, jockeying for position. Brody thinking super. Oh, oh my God, on top of that turnbuckle. Uh, and, and look at that, the exposed. The top of the turnbuckle is exposed. Brody got his head driven down into it, and he may be completely out as Andrade. The hook. El Idolo, the DDT. He's going to get him. The hammerlock DDT. And Andrade. Andrade El Idolo. Andrade El Idolo. I, I missed it at the time, but he exposed the steel of that top turnbuckle. He drove Brody King's head into it, and he has picked up three crucial points in the Blue League of the AEW Continental Classic. That was a smash mouth physical battle between these two monsters here. And there's that exposure of without the pad on that turnbuckle. Metal ring is at the rod, I should say, is a turnbuckle for those that don't know. And let's take a look at the updated standings. Andrade El Idolo at the top of the table with nine points. Brian Danielson, Brody King tied with six. Kingston and Claudio on the bubble with three as Andrade El Idolo, wow. your winner here tonight on Dynamite.